champion, the Heartbreak Kid, Shawn Michaels. Shawn Michaels involved in a great World Heavyweight title defense against Rob Van Dam here last week before it was interrupted by Triple H. But Michaels will be at Armageddon in less than two weeks in Fort Lauderdale, Florida on pay-per-view. Yeah, but who will he face? Will it be Rob Van Dam or Triple H? And that's what I Shawn Michaels would ever return to WWE, but he came back at SummerSlam and beat Triple H in a street fight. Yeah, I never thought Shawn Michaels would get in the Elimination Chamber and fight for the Triple H with the cover on Rob Van Dam, and there's Shawn Michaels. And oh man, Triple H is not gonna like that, King. You think that was a little slow? You think? <laughs> the game is living. Now Rob hey, Van Dam is rolling up Triple H and Whoa. oh! <laughs> a really fast count from Shawn Michaels now on the game. Struggling for control. And here's Rob Van Dam. Man, Triple H, what offense.
Rob Van Dam going for it. He's got him up. A shot. Oh, tomorrow marks the 11th anniversary of Hulk Hogan defeating Undertaker for the WWE Championship at the Tuesday in Texas pay-per-view. Now that's relevant here, folks, because the controversy surrounding that win led to then WWE President Jack a thunderous Irish whip into the barrier. RVD avoiding danger there. Well, that could have been really bad for Van Dam. And a huge collision with the barricade. He was able to reverse that. The game avoids trouble there. Yeah, Triple H saw that one coming. A big impact into the guardrail. And this rivalry between Triple H and Shawn Michaels goes well beyond wins and losses. The game is hell-bent on making HBK's life a living hell. And ironically, before this match started, Michaels told Triple H that as long as he has the World Heavyweight Championship, it's the game's life that will be a living hell. Well, it's hard to argue that. Triple H lives for the World Heavyweight Championship. With every fiber of his being, he wants nothing more than to recapture the goal. The animosity between Triple H and Shawn Michaels is well documented. But let's not forget that Rob Van Dam was also in that Elimination Chamber match that Shawn Michaels won at Survivor Series. Could there be any lingering animosity between RVD and HBK here tonight, King? I don't think so, Cole. Unfortunately for Rob Van Dam, he was eliminated from the match by the time Michaels entered. If there's any animosity on RVD's part, it would just be sour grapes. He's got him covered! Triple H doing a great job of turning that around. And the game hits the spine buster! I don't know how Shawn Michaels is going to be impartial here tonight after what Triple H did to him last week with that back. Oh, look at RVD. There's a reversal. He whips Triple H into the corner. What's RVD going to do here? Oh, big sword. Oh, right to the gut. And another. Look at this. Oh, Triple H with a close on. Wow, they both ducked. And now RVD off the rope onto HBK. Woo a jumping corner splash. Now what? Oh, man, he is a mess. He's an absolute mess. You can see him struggling to stand after all the damage he's taken. Rob Van Dam, of course, trained by one of the originators of hardcore wrestling, The Sheik. No doubt The Sheik is a future Hall of Famer. And you would have to think The Sheik's influence helped Van Dam greatly in the hardcore environment of ECW. And he's heading back inside the ring. Triple H saying up something big. You know, it wouldn't surprise me if Eric Bischoff came out here and stripped Shawn Michaels of the World Heavyweight Championship right now. Oh, come on, King. Why in the world would you say that? What? Michaels hasn't done anything to warrant that happening. Bad officiating, Cole. This is as one-sided as it gets. Michaels is obviously for Rob Van Dam. He thinks he has it. Oh, no, look at this. Yeah, Shawn Michaels reluctantly counting the one, two, three. I know Shawn Michaels hates that, but the game shoving it right in Michaels' face. One, two, three, and now what? Oh, look at this. Triple H demanding that Shawn Michaels raise the game's hand and pick. Here, I guess he's going to have to eat pro and do it. Oh! oh, no, he isn't. <laughs> Michaels unloading on Triple H and Triple H turning the table. And another brawl is broken out between these two. Oh, my gosh, the fists are flying. The game and Shawn Michaels going at it. Emotions running so high between these two men. They can't oh. stand each other. Wow. This has become so personal each and every week. All they got here. No! Oh, big elbow off the rope and oh, the showstopper back to his feet. And finally, some help out here. And yeah, they're going to have to try Oh, oh sweet chin music. Well, Triple H may have won this match, but he sure didn't win the fight.
The King of Kings, The Heartbreak Kid, two forces set to meet in a three stages of hell match at Armageddon. The first fall, a knockdown drag em out street fight. The second fall, a more menacing arena as a hellacious steel cage surrounds the two combatants. And if necessary, the final stage, where victory is won from the top of a ladder. Our story begins at Survivor Series. Shawn Michaels with the elbow from the top of the chamber. Shawn Michaels is the world's heavyweight champion. Legendary world heavyweight champion Ric Flair surprisingly showed a sign of support for the new champion. There was a time I knew beyond a shadow of a doubt that I was the man. The kid up on the rafters said, hey, nature boy, you ain't the man anymore. It's Shawn Michaels. Until Flair made clear what his message was really about. There is a new man in town. At Armageddon, the man, the bigger, better version, the best wrestler alive today, Triple H. If you're not ready to pass the torch, he'll kill you. The night was far from over for Triple H and Shawn Michaels as Raw culminated in a brawl no! No! that would set the stage for Armageddon. We're not seeing Shawn Michaels. You're seeing the showstopper right now. Taking out Flair. He's taking out the number one contender. Oh, that's the heart. Oh, my God, he's pounding that ladder to the top. No, God, no! Michaels, the elbow on the top of the semi. A clash of colossal proportions as Triple H takes on Shawn Michaels in three stages of hell.